Hello and welcome to another episode of the Survival Handbook. I'm Terrifier and today I'm going to teach you how to safely transfer your character from one map to another. If you want to grow your skills and all sorts of other arc related stuff, subscribe now so you don't miss anything. Transferring your character changes slightly from single player to servers, so we'll cover both, but let's start with servers. First thing you'll need to do is go to an obelisk or loot drop. Both obelisks and loot drops are considered transmitters and will be referred to as such for the rest of this video. Anyway, once you're at a transmitter, open its inventory and select travel to another server. Select the server you wish to join and choose join with survivor. After a few moments, you'll be on the new server with your choice of spawn location. Several restrictions do apply when transferring servers, so stick around or skip ahead while I explain the transfer process for single player. To transfer your character from one single player map to another, or even to a friend's single player world, go to an obelisk, open its inventory, and select Upload Survivor. Click Accept and back out to the main menu. Here's where you either accept the invite from your friend or click host slash local. Pick the map you want and at the character creation screen, select download survivor. You'll be asked where you want to spawn and you're good to go from there. Let's get into restrictions. The first set of restrictions involves which types of servers you can and cannot move your character to. Firstly, you can only transfer your character to and from maps that you own. For example, if you try and move from the island to Extinction, but haven't purchased the Extinction DLC, you'll be unsuccessful and might even lose your character to the void forever. Also, characters can't be transferred from a PvE server to a PvP server or vice versa. This constraint can be removed for private clusters, but that's the only exception. Additionally, you can't move from private servers or single player to official servers. Moving a ridiculously OP character from single player to official servers would be a complete nightmare, and the game wouldn't be balanced if it was allowed, so I accept it. Anyway, the next set of restrictions involves transferring items between servers. To safely transfer items, go to a transmitter once again. Open its inventory and in the top right, select the Arc Data tab. Simply drag your items in, transfer servers, and go to a transmitter when you get to the new map. You'll find your items have been transferred and you can collect them from the Arc Data tab. It's important to note that artifacts can't be transferred with this method and should be collected on the map you intend to use them on. Also, since you know how to move items now, you can transfer creatures almost exactly the same way. Just bring your tame close to the transmitter and click the creatures tab. Select the creature you wish to upload, then click the little paw print to upload it. When you want to download it again, do the exact same thing, but on the bottom half of the menu. Please keep in mind that any items in the creature's inventory will be destroyed, including saddles, so make sure you remove what you need before uploading. Also, animals can only be transferred once every 12 hours, so try not to get the thing killed. I do you have any other arc tips? Let's talk about them in the comments. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing and following me on Twitter for more educational short form content. Thank you so much for your time today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.